Warriors, welcome and good morning. Thank you for joining us for our, our state champion ring ceremony. So let's hear it for our girls flag football team. I'd like to uh, do a few thank yous first before we get started. First, thank you to our Buildings and Grounds team for uh, setting, getting the stage set up and getting everything ready and prepared for today, and also all season long for all of our sports programs, and in particular, our uh, girls' flag football program. Secondly, our, our tech department, who's up there, who's got their lights shining bright on me right now, but let's give a big round of applause for our tech department. They not only help set up the sound and the lights and all the presentation you have here today, but all season long for our live streams, making this even remote live streams from not only here in the state of Illinois, but in Ohio, in Las Vegas, everywhere, everywhere we travel, they made sure we could try to live stream for all of our fans here. So let's uh, thank you to the tech department. Uh, our building administration that's in the house tonight, we have Dr. Van Krause, our principal, somewhere on it. <laughs> Assistant principal, Dr. Jamie Gorley. <laughs> and Assistant principal, Curtis Tate. From our district administration, we have our community director, Ms. Danny Brink. And many of our school board members, I believe, are possibly popping in as we speak. But first and foremost, I'd like to start off with the message from our superintendent, Dr. Jean Barbonette. Good morning. Um, I was actually not planning to speak this morning at all, but very briefly, I just wanted to say um, how proud we are of all of you, uh, not only for what you've accomplished, but for the way that you carried yourself through this season with, with grace, with pride, um, and just incredible examples of what it means to be a warrior. And as I contemplated on the way here, the impact that what you've done is going to have not only on other, on the, you know, other girls that are going to come through to play here at Willowbrook, but now the programs that will be launched in other districts. Uh, for girls that have that never had this opportunity, not only to play a sport that they love, but when I think about the opportunities now because of the college scholarships, because of the different you know, post-secondary opportunities, the attention that this has brought uh, for opportunities for girls that may have never had an opportunity. You've opened doors for girls today, next year, and in future generations that may have never had an opportunity to go to college, for example. Okay? So the impact is going to be for generations. So it's really, really incredible. So it's much more um, than just playing a game you love, but you have impacted your generation, and it is, you know, it's profound. It's really profound. So we couldn't be more proud of you. And again, from one female first to all of you, uh, thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Barbara May. Uh, Pride is exactly as what we all feel right, that everyone's in this room. And the word pride gets thrown out really quite often. And uh, to say I'm proud, it doesn't really do justice to what that meaning is. Uh, to fill one's heart, uh, to be overwhelmed with joy, that is what this team has brought to, to not only myself, but the entire school and our entire community. Uh, they say champions do ordinary things better than everybody else. This team not only did ordinary things better than everybody else, they did something that no one's ever done. They took a sport that no one ever played, and they, and they, they took it to the highest level. Um, this team focused on the controllables and let the outcomes speak for themselves, and we're here because of some of those outcomes, but that's not what the vision and mission of this program was about. Uh, let's hear it for our head coaches right now, Coach Rachel Karos, Nick Hildreth, and Assistant Coach Jamal Thomas. The coaching staff came to our school administration this, this past spring, early summer, and said we, they have an idea, they have a vision, they have a mission they'd like to accomplish. And that mission was never to be a state championship flag football team. That was going to be the outcome. The mission was to grow the sport. They learn the sport, they have passion about it, they want to grow a sport, they want to teach this sport. They want to develop football players. They want to build relationships. And that's exactly what they did. So that, that mission was accomplished. That vision is still there to this day. Our, our athletes have been speaking, uh, accepting awards. They're still working on this mission to this day. 
not only in our community, but within the state and in, even nationally. There's phone conference today with coaches from all over the country. This at uh, two o'clock today is one of our athletes is, is talking to the national championship uh, coach. This is a, something that is growing beyond our community, and that's because of that vision, because of that mission. And that's where the outcomes come. They, they came from that, not just because we want to try to win a trophy or leave a legacy that way. Their legacy is left beyond just the trophy. The trophy, the boards, those are things that we will reflect in this, this program, this team's legacy. is something that we can look at that and remember every time we see that. That state board that hangs in the gym, Every time we, every student athlete that walks in there for PE class, for every student community, for every graduation, we'll see that board hanging. And that board represents this program, this team. And when you guys look, come back uh, years from now, you'll see that. And those that are still with us, you'll see that and try to put up another board. But those boards represent way more than just the success of that game, that championship game. They represent all those things that you did, how you grew the sport, the memories you have, the relationships you made. But that we, we get to keep those trophies in our cases. We get to keep the pictures of you in our school. So all those athletes coming after you get to see. But we wanted to make sure you have something that you can keep and you can have as a memory. And that's what today's ring ceremony is about. So when you look down at your ring, when you get your ring today, every time you look at it, I want you to think about the memories you made, the places you've got to go because of this, all, this, all the stuff that you get to keep in your wardrobe collection, right? It's amazing. All the things, they have a, they have a, a new uh, outfit, new warm-up, new uniform every day, it seems like. The relationships you made, not only with your teammates, with, with people in the community, with young, with young little athletes that are looking up to you, with your coaching staff, with your teachers, because of some of the things that you were passionate about. With the community, the impact you've had on that school, the community, the state, and even nationally. Uh, this year in the Super Bowl, I think many of you probably witnessed one of the greatest commercials, which is our, the girls' flag football commercial. And you see how this sport is growing, but it's because of all the individuals that are sitting in this front row that are doing that in impact today. So years from now, when we're watching a Super Bowl, that's a girls' flag football Super Bowl. Uh, it's because of the work that they're putting in right now today. Uh, it is at this time that we are going to accept our state championship rings. So please welcome to the stage the voice, Mr. Ed Sullivan. Before we introduce the team, let's take a look back at this historic run. The snap to carry. She's got a wide open Andrew left. Looking, looking. Here comes the pressure. The ball is up. And it's intercepted. In. Five touchdown. Willowbrook. Goodness gracious. Plenty of time. And that is caught by Sarah Ball. She goes up the right side. She's still on her feet. She's still going. Spin move. Another spin move. There's a blitz. Touchdown, Willowbrook. Goes to the corner. It's good. Here comes the pressure. And it's intercepted. Intercepted by the Warriors. Touchdown, Willowbrook. And that is the ball game. From Villa Park, Illinois, your Willowbrook Warriors are the first ever Illinois girls flag football state champions. Let's give a big round of applause for those moments right there. Before we introduce the team, we want to let the girls know that we're going to open the rings together. So when you receive your ring from Mr. Murphy, do not open it. We're going to open it together. It's going to be one of those like three, two, one open moments. That way you can all see it for the first time. So now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the first ever Illinois girls flag football state champion, Willowbrook Warriors. The senior number zero, Kennedy Vinoy. A senior number one, Sarah Ball. A senior number three, Zeta Serrano. A sophomore number four, Mickey Alandi. A senior number five, Kaylee Dennison. And it's Kaylee's birthday. 
birthday. A senior number six, Ramon Terry. A senior number seven, Emily Pearson. A sophomore number eight, Ella Steinbeck. A senior number nine, Delaney Coulter. A sophomore number 10, Lorelai McIntyre. A senior number 11, Roslyn Sanchez. A senior number 12, Olivia Brock. A sophomore number 13, Annalise Ferris. A sophomore number 14, Lauren Quinn. A senior number 15, Karen Hitzman. A junior, number 16, Emma Enderlich. A senior, number 17, Ava McLaughlin. A junior, number 20, Anaya Platten. A senior, number 21, Brianna Alondi. A freshman, number 22, Grace Tratina. A sophomore, number 23, Gabriella Maher. A junior, number 24, Jada Smith. A sophomore, number 25, Barry Sutton. A sophomore, number 27, Lauren Palicki. A sophomore, number 28, Kylie Cozio. A sophomore, number 30, Liz Tritina. A senior, number 32, Chloe Klamecki. A freshman, number 33, Marley Spurs. A freshman, number 44, Alex Suggs. A senior, number 46, Judy Raleigh. A sophomore, number 66, Madison Krillies. A sophomore, number 75, Jazz. Gatlin. A sophomore, number 91, Kristen Woods. Senior, number 99, Christina Pettinger. Assistant coach, Jamal Thomas. And your co-head coaches, 
Rachel Karras and Nick Hildreth. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. So everyone take the paper off of the, the box and we'll tell you when to open it, okay? You take the paper off of the box. It slides off. There we go. Here we go. Everyone ready? Three, two, oh, just kidding. JK. Three, two, one, open it. On the screen is the state championship ring. You see the Willowbrook logo. The diamonds shine bright, just like our future. It's made out of the prestigious shadow cast metal. According to world-renowned jewelry company, Justin's bold meets beauty in this striking rich black finish. You can see here, first but not the last, our team motto in our year. On the inside of the ring, you're gonna see this lovely silhouette of two magnificent coaches. The very stylish flag football helmet. I love the detail on the beard. It's like I can see them right in front of me. And Karos's nose looks like a heart, which is perfect. Because of the amount of love she has for her team. On the side, you can see the year 2022. We have the flag and the football. Our state record of 9-0. and oh. Each player has their name on the ring. You guys have your number on the ring, too? Yeah. And their jersey number. A beautiful piece of history to capture this magnificent moment. So once again, give it up for the first ever Illinois Girls Flag Football State Champion, Willowbrook Warriors!